Let's take a look at the live steam and the exhaust pipes and the connections to the cylinders. So this is the live steam pipe running in from the boiler supplying steam to the two cylinders here. And then these here, these two little pipes here, curving up. You can see them a little bit better if I bring it around this way maybe. You can see them curving up there, right here. Those are the exhaust pipes. Now you've got to take a little bit more care when you're using um, coal-fired because the exhaust system is going to be the regulator for the fire. It causes the vacuum that draws the gases, the air through the fire and allows the fire to burn, which you don't have with gas-fired locomotives. It doesn't really matter with gas-fired locomotives. Now, the problem here was that the um, was getting to these pieces in the, in the exhaust and live steam passageway so that I could actually put it together. And if I put the smoke box on, you can see it's going to be quite difficult to get at these pieces because you look underneath it, I've got a frame stretcher here and I've got a front bogey here and the exhaust passages, you can just about see them down there through, through the bogey and the frame stretcher so I can't, get a, um, I can't get a wrench or a spanner in on that there it's all pretty tight so what I've done is first off is I've made this out of a piece of hexagon here you can see it's got two holes in it there. It's threaded and it's a hole and it's a single hole there. So it's two holes here joining up with a single hole here. Now this fits over these two pipes like that. It's just a push fit. Now this this part's already going to be assembled on the um on the smoke box. So this is the smoke box here. Now inside of it, you can see the chimney, and you can see a, um, a cowling here, which is called a petticoat pipe. And uh, I've seen on some of the coal-fired engines, small coal-fired engines, they miss out the petticoat pipe. Pretty important because it actually is a, it's like a funnel that gathers all the smoke that's coming back through the fire and gives it a better course. If you don't have a um, petticoat pipe, it's just going to have a sharp edge here and it's not going to have the same gathering surfaces. This other pipe you can see in it is actually the blower pipe. And that's a very small piece of tubing which I got from K and S. I've, well, uh, I've silver soldered two pieces together which you can see, hopefully in close up here. And I've got a feed, so the two pieces of piping are secured together there with silver solder and this is the outlet for it which runs up to the um, um, the takeoff in the cab of the locomotive. Uh, these two things are supports here for the um, the tank, side tanks. It's got a grab rail over the top and it's got a lamp bracket here. The um, So that's the hole in the bottom of the smoke box for the exhaust pipe. And this is the exhaust bushing that we saw earlier. It's into the bottom right there. And you can see it poking through on a, uh, on a thread there. Now this part here is the, um, is the exhaust jet. And that is, um, I've made it in this case, that's a 70 thousandths of an inch hole. I've sculpted it a bit to make it a little bit more aerodynamic. It's a piece of hex brass. With a, uh, with a thread on the end of it that way. So what I actually do to assemble it is these two pieces, this is that piece that I've shown you, the two pieces screw together like this. Now I will put some kind of a sealer, I may put a copper washer in there or I'll put some kind of a, um, you know, a Loctite sealer in here. To hold it into the smoke box I have a nut which goes on this outside thread, like so. So then I have this piece here will actually hold on to the bottom of the smoke box. So let's uh, see that assembled. So we've got the hole in the bottom of the smoke box there. Put the nut inside like that. Make sure it's over the hole. 
makes it down to like that. So that's the smoke box assembly. You can see the exhaust pipe, the blower pipe, the petticoat pipe, the distance here. I'm kind of experimenting with that, but there is proportions you can get from um, various uh, papers on the subject. But one of the important things is that that exhaust pipe is centered in the chimney. You might be able to just see it there, that it goes directly up the center of the chimney. Because as it, um, as it comes out of that little nozzle here, the steam begins to spread, spread out in a conical cone, an upside down cone cone and that uh, that has to hit the sides of the chimney before it gets to the top of the chimney and exit and that gives you your vacuum. The other pieces to the smoke box are the um, the door and this is the uh, the cross piece which um, allows the door to connect you can see it there quite clearly you've got to be able to make this removable so that you can clean out the tubes at the back of the boiler. So the smoke box has the T-piece in it, which is operated by the, the fingers on the front of the smoke box, which looks like a clock, it's the back one. The cross piece has a T, has the hole in it, which is there. That fits over the T, like so. The T goes to there, that locks it in place. And then you wind the outside one, that's that one there, so that it tightens the T against the bar and closes the smoke box and keeps it shut. So here's the, um, the bar going into the smoke box. Now the smoke box door goes on like that and um, there's a little pin that goes through the hinges. An easy fit so you can get the complete smoke box door off when you need to. Just slots in like that. You can see it there. Okay, you can easily get it in and out just by putting your fingernail behind and pushing it up here first and then putting your fingernail behind it there and you can pull, pull it out. And then this, as you see, as I showed you earlier, the T-piece fits onto the cross part You lock it, you lock it with this one, and then you tighten it with this one. Like that, and you can see inside there, you might be able to just see it at the back. Yeah, you can just see it at the back. The uh, the T-piece has gone through the slot and tightened up against it. So now the smoke box door is good and shut, and hopefully airtight. So then with the smoke box assembled like I've just shown, you can see the two holes in the bottom there for the exhaust. You can see the two pipes here um, on the frames from the cylinders. You can see them there. Place the smoke box directly over those two pipes. It's lined up with the front edge of the foot plate here. And bring it together. Then with a pair of tweezers, you can then just do a final adjustment in these two pipes. I hope you can see here the connection there between the exhaust pipes. See them right in there between the exhaust pipes and the bottom of the smoke box. A bit difficult between the frame stretch here and the front bogey but I think you get the idea and they're just a push fit. It's the only way I can get those in there with it being a push fit then all it takes is some screws into the side here to hold the smoke box down onto the frames and again similarly on that side and then I'm ready to slide on the boiler and once I've done that I can connect up the blower pipe to this fitting down the bottom here and then put the cladding onto the boiler you can see the cladding in the background here so that's the smoke box and the, um, the exhaust and live steam arrangements